your first step should uh, convert this printer into chipless. Uh, and due to many reasons, I'm not going to show you here. You can go to uh, inkchip.net. It's .net, not .com. You can download their kit to convert your printer into chipless. And don't send me questions about how to do this. I'm not going to show you. Okay. The inkchip.net has all the resources and uh, all the helps to help go through that. This video is going to show you how to take the, the printer out and waterproof it and also how to relocate your CSSE board so you will not ruin your printer. As opposed to release how I do the continuous ink system and the white ink management, but however, there's something happening in my life which is called uh, fly fishing. So I have to set my priorities straight. Stay tuned, subscribe to my channel, and I'm gonna show you later. I've told you this is a fly fishing channel disguised as a printer repair channel. Anyway, then we should start the printer. After restart, you can see all the ink levels are full. So we just turn this printer into chipless. 